With wet weather hammering much of the country, regional councils are battening down the hatches, putting their flood prevention plans into action. The Manawatū has the largest network of water monitors in New Zealand, over 180 in total. In Palmerston North, the gatekeeper of river control is this water control tower, giving Horizons Regional Council regular and accurate updates on residents who may be at risk. This is where most of my work takes place, down by the river. <laughs> so uh, basically monitoring river levels, heights, flows, uh, rainfall and other environmental parameters for water quality and quantity. Mikey Dodge is part of the hydro team, keeping a close eye on the region's weather forecasts and its monitoring stations. The current weather system that we've had going through has been a lot of um, heavy rains at times obviously and you can see with the river behind me it's uh, come up quite a bit. Um, but with it being so dry leading into this, there is a lot of room uh, for that to soak in, which is nice. Um, there's some more wet weather coming on the way, um, judging by the forecast. In times of potential flood alert, they use the data to make calculated decisions on a plan of action for the residents living downstream. We're going to lower the bottle down as best we can, nice and evenly, and then bring it up at a reasonable pace and hope that we're about right full. Which looks pretty good. So the tower that is up to my right is uh, a stilling well, or it's a large structure that we use to measure the water that is uh, coming in at the river. And so we have pipes that run underground and they feed the water level into that tower. So we have an instrument in the tower that is a float and counterweight system that will measure the water level accurately to millimetre accuracy. And then along with that, we feed that into measured data that we get for flow through the river and that lets us know uh, the actual capacity of water that's flowing through at any given moment. So this is where everything comes to a point. We've got water level and other quality sensors which get to the data logger, and that's the brains of the operation. All of that gets sent via our multiple networks back to the office where we can process that and get that out to everyone else via the internet, and uh, anyone calling in can get that information uh, straight away. The water catchment for the Manawatu River is huge, covering almost 6,000 square kilometres from the source in the Tararua district to the Tasman Sea. So uh, in high flow events and in flood events like 2004, uh, what we do here is we measure the real time levels. From there it gives us an idea on whether we're going to need to send people down to places like Motua to uh, control the gates in a high flow situation. And then on site those people can make that decision. Um, on whether or not they need to open those gates, which is going to ease the pressure downstream of those gates. When those gates are open, it diverts flow through a floodway and basically takes it and takes a big section of that river out of play um, for the higher end of the peak and moves it very quickly out to the coast. So it's a huge part of forewarning and doing that and just builds that capacity um, for us to stop any major negative effects happening downstream as best that we can. And with the wet weather set to continue well into the next week, even the most robust of safety measures are set to be tested. Alexander Robertson, Local Focus.